This tutorial teaches you how to protect your brand image or brand identity online by letting you know whenever people are mentioning you anywhere on the internet and secondly to get discovered easily when people set you up on Google. Watch to the end and see how to set this up using your smartphone. If smartphones are regarded as one of the major sources of distraction then learning how to use your smartphone productively is very important and on this channel we teach everything about smartphone productivity and profitability and if this is the kind of video you want to keep receiving hit the subscribe button down below and to get notified when i release a fresh video hit the bell icon and you will be first to know when i drop a fresh video my name is frederick keep watching The following settings will help you to keep your integrity online. It will get you informed whenever your name is mentioned anywhere online. So we are going to be setting up Google Alerts and using your name as the keyword so that Google will always inform you when someone searches you up online. So you're going to use your Google Chrome and go to google.com forward slash alerts as seen on the screen. If you're not using a Google Chrome browser, you can use any browser of your choice. Just make sure that you've already logged in your Gmail account on that browser. Okay, so I'd already created my name and that of my email, but I'm going to delete mine and repeat it. So at the column where you see create an alert, so I'm going to type my name and enclose it in a quote so that the search engine will know the the specific keyword i am looking for because if i leave it open it can actually tell me when frederick is mentioned namd is mentioned ibembo is mentioned but in an enclosed quote that way i will always get to know when frederick namd ibembo is mentioned so the next thing i tapped on the c more options so where i am going to set up um how often right so i'm going to keep that as as it happens so that whenever someone um, mentions me i'll get the alert so the next place is sources so i'm going to keep that automatic all right keep it automatic so that wherever your name is mentioned on the internet your google alerts will always give you or send you a notification so under the language of course i'm going to use english so region i would want to know um get information of whenever my name is searched up anywhere in the world so i'm going to keep that um any region so you can also see the how many times and also deliver to the email i would want it to be delivered to so under this you can actually see all the places that frederick and namdi bembo have been mentioned right you can see make money with your smartphone this was an interview that I, I was invited to write so some other places like these other places I mentioned myself there so whenever someone searches my name up or mentions my name anywhere in a blog in a web page or wherever on the internet it will always be sent to me as an as a Google alert so this is very important for you to protect your brand on the internet so when all this is done i'm going to tap on the create alerts right so it will now appear this way another thing you can actually use google alert for is maybe your brand niche or your business niche like for me in smartphone productivity i can actually type smartphone productivity just to know what people are saying about my brand niche this Under the smartphone productivity niche, it can always get me informed of latest trends in my niche. Or you can also use your niche, right? So whatever kind of queue, just make sure you keep it enclosed so it will give you specific search results or search data on that keyword that you have set up to be alerted on.
the next is the trending people card now when you check my name for instance there is the first page that comes up telling you about me well it is actually showing this way because i'm the one session up i'll also show you how it looks like when someone searches my name up online now this tells you briefly about me right tells you what i do i was actually the one that said this or where i work where i stay day my education and my hometown and also different social media handles that you can reach me through all right this is actually good for you so that you don't just um when people search up your name they don't just see your facebook account your days your dad google can actually present what they call people card right the what they call um uh, a digital card a digital complementary card that people get to see right when they are searching your name up all right so just for instance when you search up all this um personalities like the superstars right you see something about them maybe for instance john cena right for instance john cena you see something like this right john cena and all of this so that you can see all the whole things about him right so google now made it that just anybody can have their own google portfolio okay making it easy for people to easily find you get to know about you maybe you're being invited to somewhere and the people want to set you up online this actually helps them to quickly find you online and get to know something about you so I'm going to switch my browser to where my email was not logged in so you see how it looks like. Now when you watch the screen you will see that I'm going to type, um, sorry about the dark screen I shouldn't have done this. So I'm going to type my name Frederick Namdi Bembo and then you see my LinkedIn page, you see my YouTube channel and then you see people all right so you can see people so when the person searching my name up taps on the people they will get to see what you saw when i was searching it with my own pet um google chrome account that has my email already on it all right so this is what people actually get to see when they search you up because you have created um your people card right so how do you do this first you're going to tap add me to search on google right so you're going to type i'll type add me to search on google so the next thing you see you see add yourself to google search right and then you tap on get started all right so when you tap on get started if your email was not already logged in on that um browser you're using you would have to log in with your google email address Now I'm signed in. First, I'm going to add my home address. This is actually because I had not done this on this email that I'm using, right? So I'm going to add my home address and then confirm the emails because this email is almost like a forgotten email though. So when I've done all of that, right, you now see create a public card, right? So it will ask you to verify your phone number, of course. Um, so the next, all right, so you set up your avatar then you set up the name right so you have to use your official name or maybe your brand name or anything you use as your name so you set up your work your education your hometown your website your social media profile right so that's what i am going to do of course you set up your location and then briefly about i think it gives you 360 words to talk briefly about you okay so this is how it's gonna look right my full name my location briefly about me occupation workplace education hometown website phone number email right and then my social media profiles right facebook instagram you can also add pinterest um soundcloud or twitter if you have any of those so when i tap on the preview that is when it will look like this okay all right i actually try to also 
um, change my profile picture so if case if you don't like the profile picture that is already there usually they will lift your profile picture from your gmail account right and place it here which you can actually change when you tap on the preview then you see this so when all of these setups are done then you can be where sure that you are protecting your identity or your brand online and you are easily discoverable with what you want people to know about you